26. Set the account owner's name as the sales rep field value when an account is created. So what do we need to do here? We have a custom field that's called sales rep, right? And that should be set as the account owner's name. So whoever would be the account owner, we need to take the owner ID and find the name of that owner and set it on this custom field, right? And this is whenever you create an account. So what should be our event? It should be before insert. Why? Because we are setting the field value to the same record that's being in the that's being sent in the context right so let's go into account trigger and let's see if we have a before insert we do not have one let's create it so i'll say before insert here i'll just copy this chunk of code and this should be is before right and this should be handled before insert right and i'll have trigger dot new available old is not available in before insert context right i'll go into this trigger handler and i'll copy this method and i'll name it handle before insert instead of after insert right so the framework is ready let's now start working on the use case so for account acc in new records now before jumping any further let's create that custom, custom field right so i'll go to object manager account fields and relationships so i have the field created that's called sales rep let's go here and now what do we want to do we want to fetch who is the owner of the record so it should be in the owner id field right what i'll do here is i'll say owner id list dot add acc dot owner id right and i also want to create a map i'll call it owner map dot add acc dot id comma acc dot owner id so i'm creating a map wherein i'm storing the account id as the identifier and the corresponding account owner id so i don't even need this particular list now okay so i'll just define this map this would be of type id comma id owner map okay we'll see how we use it right now i have the owner map what do i do i basically query the name of the person right how do i do that i say select name from user where id in owner map dot values correct so this would give me all the users and their names whoever is part of this particular account uh, and, and is the owner of the account right and i can say list of user save okay what is the error here let's take a look it says void add is incorrect this should be put this is a map so it should be put right now i have the list of users with their names and i have the owner map that contains the account id versus owner id key value pair i'll now say for each account in owner map dot key set so this won't be account this would be id right so i'll say id account id in owner map dot key set i basically want to say owner map dot get so i need the account record why because i want to populate the field on the account record right so i'll have to iterate over the new records only i cannot iterate over the ids so i'll say for account on new records i'll say owner map dot get acc dot id will give me what the owner id right so this owner id i want to link it to the record that's present here so instead of using a list i'll simply say map and I'll say map of id comma user and I'll just initiate it like this instantiate it like this and say save right there should be no er error here so I'll say user records dot get I'll put this outside this particular map get what will this give me owner map dot get will give me the account owner id which is the user id and this map will give me the entire user record which is from this particular id right so i'll get this particular information and now i can say dot name so this will give me the name from this particular query right so i'll say 
save now before saving it what do i need to do i need to say acc dot sales rep this is the field i want to populate right so i'll say acc dot sales rep equal to user records dot get owner map dot get acc dot id and overall this particular value will be the user record dot name will give me the user record name cool so that was all about our before insert use case very simple let's go ahead and quickly test it out so i'll create a new record and I'll say testing sales rep okay where is the sales rep field it should be here this one right here right this should automatically be populated I'll just say save so this got saved successfully which means our before insert ran properly let's take a look at the record where is our record testing sales rep is here let's see so if I go to the details tab so you see the sales rep has the name of the person so it's automatically populated right so what do we, what did we do we simply created a map out of the records that were present because i wanted to associate account with their owners right what did this give me this gave me account id versus owner id map right and then here what did i do i got owner id versus owner record which is nothing but user id versus user record right so now you see account id is a unique identifier gives me the owner id Owner ID becomes the unique identifier, gives me the user ID, user record. So for every account, I can map the correct username. That is what I did here. Cool. Nice. So that was use case 26.